hey what's up guys welcome to another episode of ellipc stack so guys in today's episode we'll be creating a uh, custom validation for a custom lightning web component and i'm not talking about the record edit form which contains a default validation i'm talking about a custom lightning component which will be having few lightning input fields and we'll be uh, we'll be calling custom validations for those input fields okay so uh, to save the time i have already created the component uh, so let me just open the code first so guys this is my lightning web component uh, maybe you are look uh, if you see the component name so it is validate record edit form because uh, earlier i was trying trying the same for record edit form but then later on i change the example to the custom lightning web component but seems like i'm too lazy to change the name so you have to bear with me here okay so in this component guys i'm having uh, two inputs here first is for the account name and second one is for account phone number okay and apart from that i'm having a button here just to save the record as you can see this is a custom lightning web component okay we are not using any inbuilt functionality like record at form and in controller guys uh, i'm using the ui record api just to create the record okay and apart from that i'm having show toast event here because we'll be displaying success or error message based on the uh, record creation okay and after that guys i'm having two parameters here acc name and acc phone to just uh, collect the data of name of the account and phone of the account okay this is my handle on change event one is for name and one is for phone number and here's my save button guys so in the save button i'm just having my values in field i'm having name and phone number here and after that i'm having the object api name here and after that on uh, i'm calling the create record api where i just have to pass the api name and fields okay and underneath that i'm just checking out the response if the response is true then it will return a toast message which says accounts created successfully otherwise it will just display the error so yeah pretty much a very simple lightning web component it is okay let me show you the output and the output is very simple and clean i must say so here basically we are having name phone number and save button and we do not have any validation right now so it will just save the record no validation here okay so now guys what we'll do we'll just add validation here just to you know uh, restrict user to save the record uh, before filling up the values okay so guys uh, usually to add validation you have to use the uh, report validity function for input validation okay so we will be doing the same here so we just have to take a constant okay let's name it is inputs correct because there will be multiple inputs okay okay let's have it here template dot okay query selector and guys here i will be using query selector all to select all the input fields lightning input okay it is okay now i will check if it is um, validated so let me just check it valid so far input field all right now if the field is valid okay let me enter here and close this one okay so the field is valid then it should trigger the validation uh, input field dot report validity okay and if there is no validation then it should just return true here ok 
Okay, and here let's return the error. Uh, I did so far and input field dot uh, check validity. Okay, so guys, we are having the validation here, and let me just check it now. If it is it returned true, which means no validations are required, then okay, let me just uh, where are the closing? Okay, let me close it here and save it. Okay, so guys, this is a custom validation which we have created here just to check if all the lightning inputs are uh, true here okay and let's say guys if you're having multiple inputs maybe you could have lightning combo box or maybe you can have lightning address input so guys you have to perform the same action for different different inputs and let's say if you're having combo box so you can have like a constant is combo box correct and here while uh, checking this input correct variable you can check the uh, combo box correct variable as well so you, that's how you can just you know merge the conditions and create it for multiple situations okay so guys uh, this was the validation and but uh, there's a catch here so you might be thinking like it's done i mean nothing is required and everything seems fine here but uh, when i tried it first time so technically this is my second time uh, because I have to try the examples first before creating the videos. So guys, you must have seen the validations are not here right now. Like if I will click on save button, then it will just throw the error, which is here. But the validations are not getting triggered. So guys, this was basically a very strange situation. Like, I mean, uh, we have done all the code uh, here. So it must be triggering the validation. But I have faced this strange situation earlier as well. And the solution for this situation is also very strange. So the solution for this situation is uh, you have to make the fields required. Yes, guys, you have to make it required. And don't worry, like if you are having multiple fields or multiple sections, let's say in section B, you are having two fields. In section C, you are having uh, three fields. Then if a section is not getting displayed, then the validations for that specific session will also be skipped for that specific section. Okay. So if you are thinking like if you make the field required, then it might, you know, get a conflict, create conflict with other validation. So don't worry, it is not going to happen here because uh, I have tried the situation personally and it was working as expected. So let me just deploy it again. Okay, it is deployed. Let's refresh the page. You must be noticing this. Uh, required sign here now if i will click on save then it will trigger this validation okay now let's say if i put name here uh, test account let me just put the phone number as well okay the validations are gone now let me click on save and the account created successfully let's check out the account once so we'll go to sales open a new tab okay. let's refresh it okay let's go to account and the test account is here Guys, you might be thinking like if I'm already having required on that inputs, then why I'm creating custom validations. So in that case, uh, if you are also like thinking because, you know, this was my first reaction when I build this component, like I'm calling the required on the HTML side also and I'm checking the component validation on the JavaScript side as well. So my question was here, like why we are having two validation for the same component, but when you will try to remove this javascript validation because you are already having that uh, html required tag okay so let me just deploy it again okay 
okay it is deployed let me click on save okay now when you will click on save the validation will not trigger guys because the uh, field validation here will uh, will trigger only let, let's say if you will make the tab change so guys, this is the situation here if you make the tab change then the default validation is going to work but if you're not doing the tab change or maybe you're just hitting the save button directly then these default validation are not going to work okay see it is not working it will just throw error let me put it back and from the other side if you will remove this required from here and here as well and if you will try to run that again then the validation will not work so somehow guys uh, you have to work with these both validation on uh, like parallel ways because like if you will remove one then the other one is not going to work and if you will keep only javascript then the html is not going to work so i think yes we have to deal with it like how it is going to be all right so guys that's how you can have custom validation in a lightning web component in a custom lightning web component okay and that's it for today guys if you like today's video thumbs up uh, like videos and subscribe to the channel will be awesome and I'm, i will be also having the complete code on my blog which is salesforceworld.com so you can just directly go there and check that out i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching